Man, how quickly we forget. This was the match of matches back in 2021. And now I feel like it's kind of just a side note. It's just one, and part of it is Final X is just awesome, right? It's gonna be a, an incredible event June 10th. But people are not talking about Jaden Cox versus Kyle Snyder nearly enough, okay? And, and let's just go back in time a little bit, okay? 2021 Olympic trials. This was the match. It might have been more anticipated than Kyle Dake, Jordan Burroughs. But if it wasn't as anticipated that, it was close, right? It was right up there. Everyone wanted to know, Cox, Snyder, who's going to be the person at 97 kilos? And if you remember before that, the big question was Jaden. He was this tweener who had won an Olympic bronze at 86, okay? But he'd been wrestling at 92 kilograms. So which, where was he going to go for the Olympic trials? Then boom, he makes the announcement. I'm going up. I'm going to 97 kilos. And then... To this day, one of the most inexplicable, incomparable things happened at the, at the Olympic trials. Jaden Cox, he, he didn't miss weight, he missed weigh-ins. He was not there on time, okay? And then from that, so if you, if you don't know that, that's a whole separate saga, but basically Jaden and, and his coach, Kevin Jackson, that for whatever reason, not on the same page with the rest of the athletes and they had the wrong time for weigh-ins and they, they missed the weigh-in. And so you don't get, so we're left so unfulfilled at the Olympic trials, like, man, who was going to win? We just wanted to know. Wrestling fans just wanted to know who was going to win this, this showdown between Kyle Snyder and Jaden Cox. And so Kyle Snyder makes the team, no problem, goes on to, to win an Olympic silver. And immediately afterwards, Jaden Cox is, is on the record. He's like, man, I'm going to bring the wrath of God. I'm coming. I, wanna, I want this spot. You know, he's injects even more life into this rivalry and more questions, right? And so the hype builds even more so after the Olympic trials. And then, now I know what you're thinking, well, they, they did wrestle, and yes, they did wrestle. They wrestled at the a two out of three even, which I think was, was a really cool idea. This was at the Rudis Super Match. And I think there's a lot of aspects of that, and I think maybe this series is why people are not thinking about this match enough. But I think there's a lot of reasons you need to put this match on your radar a little bit more. One, match one was a, a criteria win for Kyle Snyder. I think 5-5. Five, five. Really close match. I think Jaden was up at a point and Kyle ran him down. Okay. And then I, I remember, I'll just share this because, um, you know, I was there at this event. If you watch the event live, cool event, lasted forever. It was hours and hours and hours long. So we're, I'm covering the event. I'm watching. I'm in backstage a little bit, just hanging out and Jaden wrestles the match, and then a little bit later, he sits down next to me, and he's like, man, I am tired. He's like, I just want to go to bed. And I don't remember what I said to Jaden in that, in that moment, but, and if you don't know this about Jaden, it's, it's kind of public. He talks about it in the Team USA talk. He does not sleep. Very bad sleeper, right? He just has a hard time falling asleep. No one wants to room with him, Team USA, because he's up at all hours because he has a hard time falling asleep. Jaden, because the dude does not sleep. Honestly, I'd probably say Jaden because he stays up so late. It's funny because I've room with the World Championships in Oslo is, is Jaden Cox. He doesn't sleep, he's up all night. You, you peer over in the middle of the night, you can always see the brights from his, his cell phone screen up at no matter what time of night it is. You'd be surprised if, pretty much, if I told you pretty much everybody said you because you don't sleep. Yeah, uh, no, I wouldn't be surprised at all. <laughs> I, I, I walk around. But the, the, the thing is, though, is like, I'll like get up and walk around. Like, like I won't. <laughs> so I understand not wanting to be with me. But anyway, he's sitting there telling me this between matches. He's, he's really tired. I bring that up and because in that moment, I'm like, I don't know what I said, but I know I thought I was like, well, this isn't going to go well in match two. And it, and it didn't. Kyle, Kyle won handily. And you could say, well, yeah, that's on, that's on him. Sure. Fine. But I think you, what you have to remember, and, and Flo, we did a lot of cards as well, and those are for entertainment. They're not for glory. They're not for the highest stakes. They're not for world and Olympic medals. And that just matters. And it just matters to, to wrestlers a little bit more. And you can't tell me that a Flo card or a Rudis card is going to have the same level of stakes and vigor and gusto from, from either guy, right? That's just the reality of the situation. That's my opinion. And I believe it's true. That's why you see, you see the NCAAs all the time. Guys will drop matches in regular season or maybe at Big Tens or conferences, but at NCAAs, the best guys show up when it matters most because the stakes are high, and that's the final test that you're trying to, to pass. And uh, whether it's a flow card or a Rudis super match, 
that's not the final test. We can just be candid about that, okay? Another factor in that is that Jaden knew he was going 92 kilograms for, for that world team that year, right? That was known. Why does that matter? Well, Kyle Snyder is every bit of 97 kilograms and then some. And Jaden can come up and weigh in heavy all he wants, which he did, but he's not a full on 97 kilogram at that point in time. Okay, now he's gone incredible lengths to, to cultivate mass, to get, to get bigger. And while he's not you know, walking around with trash bags of, full of burritos like Mac from It's Always Sunny, he's a lot bigger. He's told Kyle Klingman he got up to 250 pounds. This is a bigger person, Jaden. And he learned wrestling Kyle Snyder, I gotta be a little bit bigger. I can't be this, the same size and withstand the, the power and the physicality and the pace that Kyle Snyder brings. Jaden said, I gotta get bigger. So he got a lot bigger. He made 97 kilograms at, at the US Open, uh, which he had to do, he'll, he'll have to do it again. But I don't think there's any issues with the weight. I think he's gonna be a, a bigger version. And I think the other thing you have to consider is just as, as a wrestling fan, what are we getting to watch here, right? This is, this is, as high level a matchup as you can create, you know, in, in wrestling right now. You've got an Olympic champion versus an Olympic bronze medalist, a two-time world champ. Kyle Snyder is a multiple world champion. Kyle Snyder is a Sajalayev away from maybe being currently regarded as the greatest ever, right? He wins in 15, 16, 17, okay? He loses to Sajalayev in 18, okay? 19 was the Sharifov loss, but then in 21, and uh, 21 twice, he would be up to six right now, um, going for his seventh at his young age. That, that's how good Kyle Snyder is. And Jaden Cox is his peer. He had a criteria loss to him about a year ago. So you're getting to watch the, the highest level of wrestling. And why I'm excited is because not only is Jaden gonna bring you know, everything he can to the table, but you can, you can believe that Kyle Snyder is going to raise his level. So you're just getting a, such a higher version of wrestling at Final X. And because, think about this, it's not just for a spot on the world team, it's not just to win at Final X, right? Whoever makes this team is all but guaranteed to win a medal. And it's not a guarantee in the actual sense, but if you look at the, the field and you look at how good Kyle or Jaden are, they're, they're a medal every time out, okay? So what does that mean? That means they're in, sitting out to the Olympic trials finals, okay? That means they have a huge advantage to make the Olympic team and a potential become Olympic champion. So all that points back to Final X. And don't think Kevin Jackson and Jaden don't know that. Don't think Kyle Snyder and Kale Sanderson don't know how high these stakes are. That whoever wins June 10th is gonna be in the driver's seat to make the Olympic team and potentially become an Olympic champion in 2024 in Paris, okay? So that's how big the stakes are. That's how great both of these guys are, and I think Everyone should understand this is one of the biggest matches in wrestling history.